Well, good afternoon folks, how's it going? <laughs> well, out on another mini adventure. I'm in my van, and uh, I don't know if you can hear in the background. Uh, thundering, it's been thundering and lightning, just been chucking it down. But it's nice and warm, it's lovely. I love the campsite in the Yorkshire Dales. I found it just on um, pitchup.com, and uh, I'll, I'll post a link up where it, where it is actually. It is really nice. So, uh, I've got electric hookup. Um, I've got water, waste disposal, all the rest of it. Um, it's lovely, it really is. It's even got a TV aerial. I think I've not got a TV. But yeah, cracking sight. Got the awning up at the minute. You can see the rains. So yeah, it starts to come again. So the plan for today is, or oh, tonight, is uh, she finish off a few more beers and uh, I've got wife, I might watch a bit of Netflix and um, I'm gonna cook up a uh, nice bit of grub. I'm gonna make like a kind of a, a keema rice dish I think. So uh, anyway, so I'm gonna just chill out, read a bit more of my book, have another beer and just enjoy the experience. So I'll tell you then what I'm doing. Um, what I'm doing tomorrow. I'll tell you what, there's definitely something about being uh, outdoors, isn't there? When uh, you got this sort of thunder and lightning going on, it's like prime ordeal. Prime, yeah. Anyway, enough of the bollocks. Um, so tomorrow, uh, I'm kind of about 50 minute drive away from a place called Malham. So I'm going to go like a, a big walk, a big hike, hopefully. The weather's supposed to be good, 19 degrees, sunny, so it's going to be great. And uh, I want to go and see Malham Cove, uh, Gordale, Gordale Scar, and I also want to see, is it Janet's Foss, like a waterfall? So I'm going to try and do a big, big circular walk. So, uh, so yeah, quite looking forward to that tomorrow. So that's my plan for tomorrow. Thunder and lightning. <laughs> Near it. Oh. oh, nice and dry. Wow. Well, I don't know where you can hear that. Well, it's absolutely hailstone in like you won't believe. Oh. I hope my awning's going to be alright. Just outside, trying to trickly, quickly peg it down. Oh my word! Well, this is a good test. That was that torrential. Lovely stunt the awning. <laughs> Hope we don't knack it. Shit! It's all the water in it. So best get that out, aren't it? Holy moly! Okay, so uh, time for something to eat. Time's ticking on now. It's uh, it's eight o'clock. I've been watching a bit of um, a bit of a movie on Netflix. Watch about half an hour. Doctor Sleep. Remember The Shining. So it's the second one. So uh, give it a go. Seems pretty good. Um, yeah. So two and a half hours long though. So that'll keep me entertained for the evening. Right. So I'll tell you what we're having for grub. I'm going to have. I've got some mince I got out the freezer, which is all defrosted. I've got this pack of spice tailor. And it's got like uh, tandoori dried herbs in it and sauce and stuff like that. So I thought mince, onion, this all nicely cooked up. Chuck some rice in it, kind of like a keema rice, something like that. So that would be pretty good. And then uh, wash it down with a nice bottle of. Um, Bob Moretti. Can't beat it. Living the dream, folks. Living the dream. Oh, I'll tell you what. When you get all organised, you can't beat this in a in a camper van. You really can't. But the weather before was horrendous. It was chucking it down. It started hailstoning. I thought I'd knackered my uh, my awning, so I had to get it pulled. Then it started to bow. The amount of water that like went in the middle. So the awning's in now, just in case. So uh, it's eight o'clock. I'm going to have this grub and uh, I'm going to enjoy it 
um, and then chill out for the rest of the evening and uh, well I'll come back to you in a bit when I'm uh, when I'm cooking my food one thing I keep meaning to get is um, there's a chopping board just use half of this onion I think for 20 years I've been trying to tell Yvonne my wife how to cut up an onion correctly she still does it wrong. I think she does it to wire me up. So through the roots. Cut a slice. Not the best knife this actually for cutting, so I'm honest. You need a new knife. And then you just get your dice like that, as easy as that. I'm only going to use half an onion. Onion, best flavour in the world. Everything has onion in. Well, not chocolate, obviously. Right, that's my onion prepped. So on with the gas. And tell me how long this gets, it's lasting forever this gas tank. And I keep doing it, I keep turning on this stove and uh, without putting on the gas. I've done it a couple of times now. Right, so onions in the pan. I'm going to put these herbs in to fragrance it. Then chop me mince in. Then a base sauce, then that sauce, and then the rice. So the mince, herbs and onions are in. So mince is browned off. Put your base sauce in. Let that cook out for a bit. Um, put the main sauce in. I'm going to put about so much, I think. Right. Nice. Mm. Clean it up to the rice can go in. There we go. There we have Tandoori Masala Kima Naan rice ish. Oh, good. Very good. Well, it tucked up in bed. Yeah, not the best look I do realise. <laughs> anyway, right, so, uh, well fed. Had a few drinks. It's warm. I bought like a duvet cover and stuff like that before. Tesco's. Uh, new pillars, like a blanket underneath. I thought, make a proper bed up instead of a sleeping bag. Forgot to buy the duvet, didn't I? Anyway, just got this blanket on. I tell you what, it's warm, so I'm probably going to be warm anyway. So anyway, I will see you in the morning, and then we'll crack on on this walk and a bit of brekkie first. So right, see you in a bit, guys. Bye bye.
Well, good morning. And what a wonderful morning it is. A little bit different from last night when it chucked it and thundered and hailstones. Got a little lamb. Morning. How are you? Hey. Hey, you're not feeding, don't you? Hey. <laughs> you're not feeding. Hey. Hey. How are you doing, mate? Gorgeous morning. I've had the drone up before, which you've probably seen. I got the sunrise, so I was up at five o'clock. Anyway, it was well worth it. I've got to say, this is probably one of the nicest campsites I have ever stayed at, by far. Um, I'll just show you where the entrance and where the farmhouse are, where you get your showers and stuff. So this is like the entrance then. Like the farmhouse, and over there you've got your showers and toilets, which are absolutely spotlessly clean. Heated the lot. Lovely. Just had a gorgeous shower. And there's different sites, but it's called Ash Keys. So I kind of went over that direction, but there's another kind of like members site over here. If you want to bring your van, brilliant, absolutely brilliant. This is like coming into the main uh, main field. I, I'm at the back. You can't see me. A few people in. Little reception area. The people all sign in and then give you the ideas there of where to go. Kind of books and everything, little walks. Wonderful place. Books, DVDs, fantastic. Toilet finish head, chemical waste disposal, there's cow. So I've got a bit of sunlight, electric hookup, water, even a TV area if I want it. Yeah, bracky this morning. We're having uh obviously guafi porridge. I'm gonna have a bacon balm with a nice egg and good old HP. And one of them really wakes you up nice little lemon drink. Gotta be quiet because there's nobody up yet hardly. Just a guy with a dog over there. Then again, it is only seven o'clock. <laughs> Five o'clock awake this morning. But well worth it to get some of them shots. Well, hopefully, I've not seen him yet. Anyway, you would have seen him before, wouldn't you? Right, I'm going to crack on with breakfast. Porridge is made. Brew's made. Bacon's in the pan. Can't be bothered with an egg. Just stick to the bacon. HP sauce, come on. Enjoy this. Get cleared up and drive up to um, Malam Cove. So I'll see you in a bit.
Right, I've set off from the car park. So, first port of call, following this lovely pathway. And uh, I think it's a place called Janet's Foss, then Gordale Scar, and then on to, um, on to Malone Cove. lovely there's a few people about really busy actually and all the way around I guess and then Mallon Cove is over there in the distance so we're going to come all the way around basically This is gorgeous. Look at that. Full of wild garlic. Absolutely beautiful. This is truly stunning round here. It really is. Wow. <laughs> so nice to be out. This is Janet's Foss. What a beautiful place. So apparently where I am, Gordale Scar. You see it behind me? You see there? It's a campsite, but you have to ask the guy in the camp at the farm. And I saw on Facebook a guy on a motorbike par parked up here, so any comments, if it is still a campsite, let me know. So this is Gordale Scar, private campsite. For permission to camp, apply at house. Well, apparently he's supposed to be like the guy off um, Carry On Camping, panned, four quid. And the facilities aren't supposed to be that great. <laughs> yeah, it'd be a lovely place to spot this. Just taking time out, just up from the path, um, from the scar, Gordale scar, and uh, just admiring the scenery. It's absolutely stunning. And I've said that a few times today already, but it is stunning. Why the hell have I not been here before? It's one of them places where you think, hmm. I've seen it, I've seen people do YouTube videos of Malam around here, but 
to see for yourself. It, it's it's a great place to be. It really is. for obvious reasons as you know always on the lookout for wild camping spots for me and the lads or solo and uh, well I found somewhere I've come up from the path I come up this way yeah, it's a bit rocky there's a bit of a fence there but let's go and have a look and see what's up through there well look what we got here then see there but there's a hole going straight down <laughs> I would not like to go down there like a rope as well it must be like an emergency one Jesus not want to go down there soup sandwich Pork pie. Sometimes it's the simple things in life, innit? Eh? Every now and then I hear the gate clicking down there. Probably about what? 200 feet? I'm just out of sight. So the pathway, just out of sight for people. I mean, anyone coming up here would have to be like a bit curious to see what's what that cavers won't they but then you've got to think we've got to climb over them boulders which ain't that bad really it's hard on its knees for that sheep the lambs out again yeah cracking views mound cove impressive isn't it Oh, look. 
couple on the tops. All the way down. Decent pathway, not like Jacob's ladder in the peaks. Bowls. I think they're bowls. Can't see any hudders, can you? Bollocks. A load of bollocks. I'm about yeah. nine miles into my walk now. And uh, I enjoyed it. Beautiful scenery, but for me, too many people. Anyone else like that where uh, you just like to be out and about and feel you mean desolation or uh, nobody else about, you know what I mean, really remote, that's what I like. But it's a very popular place, it's summer, it's a lovely day, so there's about to be people out. So I'll just take this opportunity, uh, probably about a mile to get back to the van, maybe a little bit more. And uh, battery's running a bit low and, and everything. I hope you've enjoyed my video. I say uh, weather was horrible last night, I read it well. I was going to get the bike out and do one, but I knew it was going to storm last night, and my God, did it. So, anyway, enough waffle. Hope, you've, hope you enjoyed it again. Please like, share, subscribe, put the big thumbs up, and uh, hit the bell icon at the bottom of the screen for any future notifications. And let's see what we're up to next time. Got a few ideas, but they always change. And uh, again, thanks for watching. Thanks for subscribing. And I'll see you very, very soon. Cheers. Bye-bye.